Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic and we are playing Planeswalker Momir. I'm so excited to jump into this. So uh, last time they did this, and I'm assuming it's the same format they had for when War of the Spark came out, uh, they had a basically Momir, which they do every once in a while. One of my favorite formats, it's just fun, it's interesting. Uh, it's it's the best casual way to play for me where it's just kind of like i don't really care about having strategy today i just want to play magic if good things happen great if not i don't feel like i lost the game you know like it's just fun uh and so that's one of my favorite things about momir if, if you guys haven't seen momir before what it is is you pay x and then discard a card and you create a token that's a copy of a random creature card with converted mana cost x uh activate this ability only anytime you cast a sorcery spell and only once each turn so basically you you build a land that's uh, you build a deck that only has lands in it it's only land 60 land cards and you use momir every single time and that's just how it's always built you, you always have a, a, a deck full of lands or at least initially now they've added planeswalkers to it but you would just try to go up the curve as best you can get to uh you know a certain converted mana cost where that's a higher likelihood that you'll have better creatures um and then you try to win the game doing that. You, basically, it's it's the same after that point. You just get a random creature out of all of the creatures that are out uh, available, which I'm not sure if this is just in standard or if this is going through historic as well um, with the creatures. We also have Planeswalkers, which I have no clue which Planeswalkers this is, if it's only the War of the Spark ones, which is the majority of them anyways. So I'm not sure if they're going to just throw in a couple extra ones here and there. Uh, but that's what they had in, in the last time they did Momir. So anyway, let's go ahead and see how this is uh get into gameplay have some fun while we're doing it and wish me luck um a couple announcements as we're jumping through this as well um and maybe i should wait till we actually start playing the game because that's when people actually click in and, and see and no, i was kidding <laughs> um so for um war, uh, theros beyond death so i'm invited to the the event on wednesday um wednesday there is a pre-release for the uh content creators i guess is what it what it comes out to be um sweet this is pretty good yeah so it's not just for the spark and this is going back to historic all right Watley sounds fun all right cool keeping this you always keep it 143 cards i okay this is all of historic i think it's all of the planeswalkers which I'm really excited for. That sounds really fun. Uh, let's get down Breeding Pool, I guess. Why not? All right, tap, pass the turn. Um, so you, the best numbers to be playing this on are anything that ramps you up is the best thing to be playing. So the fact that we have uh, Domri is really good. I don't have the ability to play because I don't have red mana yet. There's red mana. Um, so what I'm gonna do is pay two life here I like to go on on uh, for on two. A lot of people don't like to play for play two, but for me, I really like it because uh, it means that there, there's a lot more things that draw you lands or draw you cards on on two mana, three mana, um, and so if you can get those ones, uh, it's it's really really good. So I like to risk it for the biscuit, especially on the play. Um, sorry, on, on the draw. I mean, which yeah, I'm on the draw. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so Wednesday with the events, um, let's put out planes. Domri. That has death touch <laughs> as well. Like a bit of violence now and then. We'll just add. I, I want to discard a card, is the question. I don't. Um, if they want to block here, that's fine. We're going to start getting some damage. Uh, man, that could actually be really, really good. I have the mana for it. Yeah, that's not bad. Especially this pumping stuff up. Also, we can f make them fight other creatures. So that's not too bad at all. Pass the turn. Now, the Planeswalkers add a, a whole different level to this. I'm sorry, I, I keep trying to start a, a conversation about stuff. Yeah, so uh, Wednesday, there is the event with the pre-release stuff for content creators. I will be participating. That's bad. But this helps a lot, so good. I'm an artist. 
Uh, just gonna tick up. They can only punish you if they catch you. Pass the turn. Um, Ugin coming down next turn gonna be really good. Uh, Huatli also. Like, so we're actually playing out our Planeswalkers where they haven't played any yet. That might just be based off the color of lands they have or, or how much it costs. Um, or they didn't draw any. That's all. Everything's a possibility. Sometimes I, I think some people don't even care to play the Planeswalkers because it's almost better just to get, try to hit the best creatures. But um, I, I think that if you get the right ones, it, it adds a lot of consistency. Having these Death Touch creatures is awesome. I'm really excited about having Raska here. Uh, we just basically stonewall them for a while. Um, let's get out Mountain. Tick up. <laughs> Have at it, boys. Um, it doesn't really matter. We're just playing Ugin out. Uh, having Ugin, this is so, so powerful. Um, I could destroy stuff. I'm going to be trying to just tick up as often as possible, I think, with him. Uh, kill stuff when I absolutely need to. Any flyers, stuff like that. But otherwise, we, ha we also have uh, the way to kill stuff with this. Um, let's go ahead and swing in with this Death Toucher. If they want to let it get bigger, that's perfect. So they do block, kill it, yep. That's probably the best for them. Pass the turn. And I, I think we're in a pretty commanding position. We have three Planeswalkers, and they do not. They do have Null Hate Fairies. Actually, they can't even play uh, their Planeswalkers while this is out. You can't cast non-creature spells. It loses all abilities, though, if they pay two. So here it comes. A Johnny. That's, that's a good card. That's something we do have to deal with. Uh, Huatli is also pretty fun, actually with uh, Ugin, we can start drawing lots of cards with this. Um, because you put a loyalty counter onto it, uh, whenever you... Let's see here, I can actually play Vivian as well. This does equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker. Um, this is just destroy permanent that's, that's uh, one or more colors. But yeah, Huali can be really, really good here. Man, this is weird. I, It's kind of weird not playing, uh, using the Momir side of this very much. Um, let's go green. Vivian. With the arc bow at my side, um, I can't lose a fight. Wait, oh, Liliana. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. All right, let's just do this. Let's uh, let's pay for Nullhide Ferox. Um, target creature you control, kill that. With my aim and their claws, you're done. And then swing in here. I don't want to trade off the Death Toucher if we can avoid it. Yeah, they, they trade off there anyway. Um, I could get a 1-1 one, one here. Let's just pass the turn. I, I This is this is it's really interesting this whole format. I, I'm really glad to be playing it anyway. So on Wednesday, I'm going to be posting a video at noon. Sorry, it's taking me forever to get to this. I'm just having fun playing magic. OK, <laughs> uh, OK, we got to kill that. We've got comfort. You'll meet your end. Oh gosh, this is bad. All sorts of bad. Um, and I'm I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm having all I sorts of troubles here. Of those who walk um, we yeah. So we will. I'm going to be doing a video at noon. Um, of Theris Beyond Death, and then after I get home from work, because I'm I'm working as well. Uh, now. I'm actually, I've been working like 12 hours a day and then trying to do this on Saturdays, basically, um, which has been working out. It's been fun. Today's actually, it's Sunday night at like 1130 and I'm going to have to work soon, but it's all good. So kill y'all. Um, yeah, Poto just scoops it up. Yeah, we had such a commanding position there just all the right planeswalkers and uh that is so fun anyway so i'm going to be doing the live stream um of theros beyond death wednesday night at um i don't know exactly what time i'll probably be starting between 6 and 7 p.m 
um, and just be I'm gonna be doing the uh, the basic event the uh, sealed event um, and then yeah so I'll be doing a sealed event and I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm if I'm gonna be doing other stuff I will probably be playing other games I'm just not sure if I'm gonna be spending uh, like doing much more how much time I'm gonna be spending on that uh, but that's that's kind of the main plan for the live stream if you guys want to hop on do stuff uh, you know if you want to bring or, or bring some deck list for me to try out and test out uh, because I have the early access for that which is really good uh, and so yeah let's go actually with um, see we're gonna get out Dovin first yeah, I just planes past the turn. I don't, sorry, I, I'm way too indecisive with all this stuff. It's just annoying because we... We'll play Mountain. Alright, we want a creature that ramps here. Oh, that works as well. Alright. <laughs> Alright, what, what you got there, sir? Like I said, a lot of people don't uh, do it on, on turn two. When you're on the draw, I think you always should. That's my opinion. Especially in this one where you're not going to be discarding quite as often. It's hard to be a um, genius surrounded by lesser minds. <laughs> Let's just create some thopters. I can benefit from another's success. And pass the turn. I'm uh, gonna keep Dovin alive here, so just gonna keep up blockers. Uh, and this changes so much. Uh, we, we got lucky getting so many colors. You can see they don't really have that. Oh, can't get my if that's not fun. My assistants are painfully sloppy. I can at least get that guy down pretty well. Is this if it hits a planeswalker as well? Nope, just comment damage to a playa. Alright, so Ingrath. Creatures have menace, which is actually really You're nice. Just Ramming speed. Ramming speed. Um. You know what? He's actually going to. Not just a gadget, but ingenuity. We'll just swing this at face. I actually want to just get Dovin out of range of being killed by like devils or whatever. Um, pass the turn. Uh, if they use Tibalt again, we can swing at him on the next turn just fine. But giving getting Dovin dove to seven, really good. The ultimate. Look at the top ten cards of your library. Put three of them onto your into your hand. The rest into the bottom of your library in random order. Sorry, I always forget that you can do this. So you can read it a little bit better. My friend is here um, Yeah, this one. This is a a, a, a planeswalker that people don't play too often. That I actually really like. I think it's a good one. Uh, there's there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with this. Just creating tokens consistently, not bad. It is annoying that these guys can. My guys are gonna get shot down by this all the time. Um, let's see here. This is Samet. So if you block these guys, they kill each of these ones. We get to kill here. I'm debating if I want to try to kill Samet or not. Um. Yeah, we'll block like that. We still lose Dovin. It is annoying. We lose these guys as well. I'm, d I'm wondering if they're going to go after the Thopter or not. Yeah, Samet was annoying. We'd also like to find some more colors here. So we can double block Samet when they go through this. Let's go ahead and go for five. Get rid of, I guess a Johnny is worse. Maybe it's the mountain, cause like we, now get rid of a Johnny. Okay, draw a card, not the card we wanted necessarily. Kill Tybalt. Now we have a blocker for this. That's nice. Um, keeping a, a Ingrath alive will be really good for us. If we can have Ingrath, uh, the menace um, makes it very difficult for them. Like, because then we can just get uh, a lot more damage. So we can win a race a lot easier. 
Unless they hit Bio Essence Hydra. Are you kidding me? That's like the best card you can get in this format. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay. Oh my gosh. And gives it haste. And trample. <laughs> gosh, that is ridiculous. Yeah, Bioys and Hydra, I don't think that there is a better card than that that you can run into in this format. Uh, we have to find something that kills it. Hey, I'm Nixilis. How about that? Unfortunately for you. We meet in battle. So they draw two cards, Every but man, we really got lucky there. That was butimus. Suffer. <laughs> Knowledge is not without prize. Uh, do I just want to get creatures out? Like get rid of this island? No, I think that we want to want to not discard until we have to. We can block there. Let's just go face here. This has menace, so it absolutely gets through. Kill the Samet, pass the turn. That means things don't get haste, which is nice. It is just a Oh man, I forgot Obnixilis also has the, whenever opponent draws a card, it deals damage to the player. There's also the new enchantment uh, that came out for Theros Beyond Death, um, that whenever someone draws a card, it, it deals a damage to them. There's so much fun stuff we can do with that being doubled up. That actually is going to be really good. All right, we get to kill that again. They, uh, they're going to draw lots of cards with this. Each white creature. We found green mana. All right, and we're giving them lots of card draw, but dealing damage to their face is also good. Let's go ahead and give something right. Well, I guess it doesn't quite work that way. We have discard here. <laughs> we gotta. Okay, sweet. All right, swing in. Down to three. Down to two. Suffer the dreams. Dude, this Omnixilis has killed two creatures and done five damage. It did make them draw lots of cards, which is relevant in a lot of formats. But like, honestly, I think Omnixilis is being underplayed, um, especially in like a more aggressive type of deck where if you're already getting them pretty close to dead and oftentimes like if, the, if you know you're up against decks that just have really powerful creatures that you need to kill, maybe Omnixilis is just good enough at even though it draws some cards, it kills them. <laughs> they just happen to draw one of the few cards that, <laughs> few creatures that drew them cards there. We will take it. That's hilarious. All right. <laughs> All right. Evolution Sage. Sweet. Here we go again. Dude, I love Momir. Just so many fun and interesting things can happen in Momir. Uh, these have been really fast games too. Like I, I feel like Momir always goes so slow. But I, the Planeswalkers adds a lot to it. Having 143 cards too, where like it changes up the the chances of your colors and everything. Hotly is a terrible one. I mean, you always keep in Momir because losing cards is really bad because you have to be discarding. And Hotly is something that we can discard pretty easily. Or it's going to be amazing for us. We have no clue. Better bones, interesting. Yeah, I, I don't ever do it on turn one. Like there is a chance, I think, I I haven't really seen any historic creatures yet, even though we've been seeing historic uh, planeswalkers. I don't, yeah, I don't think I've seen any historic, but it's not as good to play on turn two. Uh, Hwatley does gain us life. Let's get rid of a mountain. Yeah, yeah, why not? I can't remember what was better. If it's uh, mountains, uh, stuff with red t tends to have more uh, abilities. I, I know that there's there's math in the past. That is really bad for us. All the discard. Uh, we will lose Watley now. So it's first strike as long as it's our turn. Probably just swinging in with gutter bones. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, we need to find something here. Discard forest. 
We'll swing at Davriel. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to trade off. It would have been much smarter to swing in with uh, the Gutter Bones not instead of the Whispering Snitch earlier. Pick your brain. The chances of us hitting black mana is pretty slim, so I'll go ahead and get rid of Planeswalker. I'd rather make sure that our Momer game is good here. This is a very different uh, from what we were doing before, which is kind of fun to see. Sacrifice Artifact or Land Draw card. Still, still M20. I still haven't seen any creatures hit that aren't... Um... Uh, in standard. Creatures you control have Vigilance. Do I want to play this out now? It actually could be pretty nice. Um, let's do Momir again. Four and five are actually some of my favorite. Like, there's a lot of really good creatures you can run into. And some bad ones. All right, swing at Davriel. Fast turn. It is nice that Davriel doesn't have a lot of loyalty and dies pretty quickly. Otherwise, it would be really bad for us. <laughs> Tamiyo goes away. Tamiyo not as good in this format. Well, I mean, it, it actually kind of is because you can return stuff back. It's kind of card draw. Um, putting counters onto stuff is really powerful here and giving it vigilance. Yeah, let, let's take a turn off with Momir. But we could be much greater. Light shall always conquer darkness. So they can double block the pouncing links. How would they double block here and here? Um, let's just swing in here for now. Pass the turn. Maybe I should have uh, Momir for one just because getting a counter onto anything is actually not bad. But we'll get a six drop next time. There are a lot of five drops that maybe I should have gone for instead. I don't know. Return target creature to its owner's hand. That's really bad. Oh, a creature you control. Oh, this is great for us. That means that they have to bounce something of theirs. Yes. Why not the whispering snitch? Opponent saying good game already. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is. Yeah, we've been getting pretty lucky. Uh, our opponents have been getting very unlucky, and we will take it. <laughs> Okay. Well, here we go again. Uh, just because we got all of the the things, which I mean, I'm already at the the max that you can get with uh, what's it called with uh, mastery. And so every thousand uh, points at the, from this point on, you get uh, an uncommon card, which I think I have basically all uncommon cards in standard. In historic, I think there's a few I'm missing just because when things rotated out or whatever when, when they when they wiped the accounts i didn't ever go back and get some of the ones i had in the past um we got the colors that we need for this i mean sarkin i think is probably the best planeswalker in this whole thing so yeah <laughs> we're gonna keep this and be happy about it take a foundry tap pass the turn Are there any creatures for zero in the format? I was just wondering if you could actually use that. You'd have to discard a card, but that is a way you could go. All right, play island. Discard a mountain. We need to keep the other one to play to get to Sarkin. Tattered mummy is not bad. Uh, pretty much guaranteed two damage unless they find some sort of way to bounce it and I'm sorry guys I'm, I'm drinking soda and burping and everything I'm I'm, I'm a terrible host right now awful human being I know I'm terrible Fauna Shaman Fauna Shaman uh, let's go like this three 
Get rid of an Island. As haste, yeah, we'll swing in here. They they probably will trade off here. This just means that we can get in hopefully on the next turn or so. Pass the turn. This Nahiri, maybe the nice thing about Nahiri is that it does give everything for a strike as well. I, I kind of forget about that oftentimes. Uh, the equipped ability won't come into play at all here. Ooh, Sai. Sai is fun. Um, do I want to get down to Hiri just to make Sarkin better? That's the question. It kind of makes sense. Or I could hit a creature here that's that could be really good. Let's go for a creature. Uh, yeah. All right, no attacks. Pass the turn. Other creatures with flying get more toughness, which we will hopefully have some creatures with flying coming up soon. Uh, I, I probably should have just gone for Nahiri. There's not much better than an extra 4-4 dragon on the next turn. I mean, that, that really is one of the better things you can do. So, should have just done it. Uh, wait, is Sai an older one? So, M19, I think that's the first creature that I've seen that's older. No, Tattered Mummy was as well. Okay. I really hadn't seen many of the historic, but the fact that this is all historic as well actually makes it so much more fun. Uh, there's there's going to be some really cool, fun stuff to do here. All right, uh, Skarkin, heart Skarkin out. I fight with a uh, negative rage. three. Behold! Swing in here. Down to eighteen. Pass the turn. Playing Nahiri, also not bad. Opponent might just scoop up to this, like if unless they find a way to deal with it right away. Uh, there's not much you can do about that. They didn't get very good creatures here, which means he's gonna start ticking up. Even just this dragon is almost good enough. Sacrifice another creature, put a counter onto it. It gains menace until end of turn. Oh, that's that's important to note. So we need two blockers available to kill that guy. Which, let's see here. How do we want to do it? I think we play Nahiri. The earth trembles. Take up. They are coming. Next, go in with these guys. We're just going to double block him. We basically have the game next turn. Unless they find a flyer. Um, you know what? Let's Momir for two. Oh. Okay, then. Yeah, we'll keep that on top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, pass the turn. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have Chandra next turn as well. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. The there's very few things that lose us the game now. Like there there are some like hasty creatures if they like find us. I don't even know. There, there's some stuff they could hit. Um, there's creatures, I think, that kill planeswalkers. Not necessarily when they enter the battlefield, though. Like, Ravenous Chupacabra or Playcrafter don't really do it. Come on. Watch this. Oh, it makes it so it can't be blocked. Oh, I missed that. Well, we're going to kill it. Make him spend the mana. So they do kill Sarkin, uh, which Chandra coming out should finish this off anyway. Ingrath, yup, yup, yup. 
If you want it, fight for it. Play Chandra. Let's start at a system. Up with Chandra. Let's get toasty. Negative three. Onto that you one. This upon yourself. We're just going face. Down to four, past the turn. Down to three. And that should be game. I can't see a way. Well, I mean, they can maybe gain a lot of life. I, the, Momir is so fun because anything can happen. Literally anything can happen. <laughs> it's so, so fun. Uh, these guys each have menace. Can't kill Chandra. Unless they find a hasty menace creature as well. Can still block here if need be. If this guy dies, I should have swung in here as well, actually. I, I didn't think about that. I guess they had a blocker that would be fine. They'd block it. But basically, this guy dying means that... Uh, which they don't actually have to kill the Tattered Mummy here. Yeah, so they do one damage to it here. What a warm reception. We still have a dragon they have to deal with. Baraska. So they can kill the dragon. Go ahead. Beg for mercy. I am listening. My oh, I was getting bored anyway. Didn't kill the spirits though. Good game. I they can get a flyer with the one mana. I don't think they played a thing yet. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna tick up again. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> All right, swing at the face. And they block there, and this does it. So good game. Whoo! All right, man. <laughs> what a fun format. We've uh, we've actually been getting very very lucky with this too. So that's been great. Uh, it, it's nice to. It's nice to not lose in this because sometimes it gets pretty bad. I mean, we should stop while we're ahead with all this. Uh, so starting Wednesday, uh, we're going to start doing a lot more Thirst Beyond Death stuff. Um, this is just I, I like that we get to do some other things that aren't necessarily standard or, or whatever, uh, kind of right before the next set comes out. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much and bye bye.